despite everything that's all around them, despite what is going on, God inserts the greatest gift to humanity in the most humble of situations. I the power of Jesus forever. angels prostrate fall. Crown him Lord of all, ruler and the king. Master of everything. Let's join with angels and let's crown him king of kings. While they were there, the time came for her baby to be born. She gave birth to her firstborn son. She wrapped him snugly in strips of cloth and laid him in a manger because there was no lodging available for them. That night, there were shepherds staying in the fields nearby, guarding their flocks of sheep. Suddenly, an angel of the Lord appeared among them and the radiance of the Lord's glory surrounded them. They were terrified. But the angel reassured them, don't be afraid, he said. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today in Bethlehem, the city of David. And you will recognize him by the sign. You will find a baby wrapped snugly in strips of cloth, lying in a manger. Suddenly, the angel was joined by a vast host of others, the armies of heaven, praising God and saying, Glory to God in highest heaven and peace on earth to those with whom God is pleased. When the angels had returned, uh, when the angels had returned to heaven, the shepherds said to each other, Let's go to Bethlehem. Let's see this thing that has happened, which the Lord has told us about. They hurried to the village and found Mary and Joseph, and there was the baby lying in the manger. After seeing him, the shepherds told everyone what had happened and what the angel had said to them about this child. All who heard the shepherd's story were astonished, but Mary kept all these things in her heart and thought about them often. The shepherds went back to their flocks, glorifying and praising God for all they had heard and seen. It was just as the angel had told them. Peace now, which had been out of order has now been reordered and made available. And this is the gift of Christmas. This is why we go back to this story over and over again. This is why it's not just about life lessons. It's not just about, you know, self-help, right? There, there's some things that you can do for yourself. Absolutely, we are to do those, but there are some things that cannot be done absent of God. And one of the biggest things that had been in disrepair was the relationship between humanity and God. No, no matter what work humanity had done, it could not repair what had been severed between humanity and God. And no matter how nice we were, no matter how good we tried to be, no matter how all the wonderful things and all the sacrifices and, and all of the, the church and religiosity, none of it set us back right with God, that there was always an issue between creator and thing that had been created, and God recognized that you will never be able to fix it. Amen. So, God fixed it. I want you to hear it, that God valued you so much that God took our issue and fixed it so that now what had not been available becomes available. Because this level of peace with God helps to hold the rest of the things in their proper position.
Shepherds are at work doing what they're supposed to do. And all of a sudden, God breaks in and says, can I tell you something? Hey, 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 hey. I know you're busy. I know you're at work. I know you, you got all these things you got to be worried about. I know the world is on your shoulders. But can I tell you something? Can I tell you about a gift? Can I tell you about a promise that was given? And listen to his words. Listen to what the, the angel says to them. He says, don't be afraid. I bring you good news that will bring great joy to all people. The Savior, yes, the Messiah, the Lord has been born today. It's already happened. What you've been waiting on has already happened. Your knowledge of it happening is different than the moment that it occurs. It has already happened. That which you need has already happened. That which you stand in need of has already happened. That which can change your life has already happened. That which will now change the whole course of history has already happened. It's already done. But since you don't know, you're walking as if you're waiting, not knowing you could be receiving. Forever, forever.